Perfect. Perfect. Hi guys, I am Dave and this is 4 to 4 Golf. Why am I at my local club at 20, oh, that's not 20 past six anymore, is it? Clearly, quarter seven, five minutes from sunrise. Well, to do some actual practice that, that is gonna improve my game. I've got an hour and it would be very tempting just to stand on the range and blast balls down there and be very satisfying in a few, you know, 10 or 15 drivers, you know, trying to hit the back fence, blah, blah, blah. But it's not really gonna help me. So following on from the video last week, I am focusing on from the flag backwards so that I'm gonna spend 20 minutes on putting, 20 minutes on chipping, 20 minutes on pitching um, or thereabouts. And the idea is that that is the area where I can save strokes and make definite improvements. So I am quite lucky to have an area like this at my local golf course. This is Sun City Country Club. We've got the little short game area here, which I should probably walk on to. Got good quality bunkers, and we've got uh, greens, and uh, a good long pitching area as well. Joshy, how are you, mate? So, I did say I was gonna spend some of my time pit putting, but I'm gonna start with chipping, just because I'm gonna let these greens dry out a little bit. So I've got a new toy today as well. I've got this slap line, which is a training aid from Tactical Golf. There will be a proper review coming out of this in a little bit, but this is pretty cool. It's got a lot of alignment on it and stuff like that, but then when you're done, you just do. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. It's got all the alignment along it and stuff like that. I'll show you better in the review, but then when you're done, you just tap it and the thing, a bit of work to do on that. Okay guys, just doing a voiceover for this bit. So whenever I'm doing any practice session, I will basically spend the first element of that doing technique and repetition of that. So I'm not caring too much about where the ball's going. I'm just looking to get good contact, working on the things that I'm working on. And for chipping at the moment, really that's uh, just trying to play around with different ball positions. So sometimes you can see I'm, I'm sort of like moving them either slightly forward or slightly back. And then just seeing how the flights come out and uh, yeah, just trying to uh, develop a little bit more confidence of sticking it close and uh, also trying to get this thing over. And then when you're done. Yeah, that, that definitely needs work. That reminds me of my fam favorite Family Guy episode. So always finish with a little bit of competition. I've got 22 balls that are uh, positioned all around the green. Beautiful rainbow in the background as well. I didn't realize that at the time I was doing it, only when I finished. And so that I'm just trying to get these as close as I can, a bit like Target from the Short Game Handicap. I have just finished that little game now, but a uh, good example of uh, the just rewards of uh, coming out here this morning. If you want the rainbow, you've got to put up with the rain. It is raining now, so I'm going to quickly add these up. And if it stops raining when I'm on the putting green, I'll join you there. So as you can see, I did persevere through the rain, but I uh, didn't put you for it. This was my attempt from about 35 yards, 30 meters, 30 meters ish. And uh, not too bad to my little makeshift pin. This is another little product from Tactical Golf that I'm gonna be trying out in the next few weeks as well. So it isn't a flag stick. So I'm already thinking what is more boring than watching someone practice in the rain, but if you are still here, putting, I've got you under cover, you'll be a bit further away, but I'm gonna be working on the mirror, just path, path and, and stroke, because there's no holes out there. Right, 
rain's getting a bit heavier, so I'm going to have an attempt at that little drill that I couldn't show you from the Eyeline Golf uh, putting mirror review, which is up there if you want to go and check that out. Shameless plug time. I'm going to turn it side on so you can see. I'll put a T-peg, which is the furthest that I have. I never thought, oh, why am I talking? I'll just show you. Yeah. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Six paces, which is roughly 15 feet, something like that for me. I've got five balls. Can I get five each past the last, the uh, putting ladder? Right, I'm gonna get rid of the mirror. I think it's getting in the way. All right, I tried this with the mirror. It didn't work. It kept getting in the way and annoying me. But any good competition or any good practice finishes with competition. So I want a short putt here, so I'm gonna narrow my stance, try and use my feet to control the backswing length. That's a pretty good start. Of course, that ball's now way on that line. But so just going a little bit wider. Definitely past it. Move each of these this way. That won't hit that now. So, getting a little bit wider. Yep, so that's good. We are still past. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really go any wider than shoulder width, just because that would feel unnatural anyway. So, now it's a bit more just feel. All right, well, that's definitely passed. Wasn't that great though. Right, I'm going to go between those actually. Between those in path, not in distance. That's good. I'll take that first one, see if I can carry this on. And how many I can get through there in 15 feet. Kind of feel like you call me whatever you like in the comments, but kind of feel like I get to do that one again. It's past, but is it good enough? Right, can I squeeze one more in? That's what seven. Squeeze one more. Get past it, get past it, get past it. Oh my goodness, that is. It is just past it. All right, I can get one more. So that's eight. See if we can get nine. Go, 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 go! Oh, I hit the back of it. All right, that's it, done. That is it, done. I challenge Dougie Barnard, same thing, mate. Six paces, how many putts can you do within that field? All right, that is me, done. Did get wet, but I feel good about it. And uh, yeah, did all right out there. There will be a couple of other sessions during the week, but I probably won't film them. I just want to give you an idea of what I'm working on and what the focus is. And obviously throw the gauntlet down on uh, Mr. Barnard to uh, take on the putting challenge. If you did enjoy the video, guys, smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And leave me a comment below. From a rainy Sun City in Perth. See you next week. Bye. It's a weird way to sign off a video. Perfect!